What's up turtles, it's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Victorinox Angler multi-tool. And this is specifically designed with some of the tools on here. <clears throat> some of the tools on here to be used for fishing. And I want to preface, preference this, uh, preface this review is that I've never used this for fishing. I'm not really a fisherman, an angler per se. But I've used this tool, I've used this tool a lot. I've used this tool a lot and once I start talking about the tools, I sort of share some stories with how I've used them and why I do like this, why I do like this and could be a nice part of a kit. It has about 16 tools total in it. Three, three and a half inches I think around the clothesline, three and a half inches. And it weighs about four ounces. So not the lightest, but for what you're getting out of it, <clears throat> is a lot. I'm just going to start working around working around the tool and trying to <laughs> trying to remember all 16 of these. It's a start. Okay. The smallest blade on here. There's two blades. There's this small one and a larger one which I'll show next. It's a stainless. I want to say this one is around maybe an inch and three eighths in length. But what's really nice about having a smaller blade like this and a larger one is that potentially if I'm using this in a backpacking situation or just for longevity over the years because it's such a small blade, the bevel is really small, potentially it could be hard to keep it sharp. I've used this blade a lot and it's kind of saved my other blade and kept that sharp if I were ever to need it because I have used this in a backcountry setting, taking this in the backcountry with me. Now, these have not been my only blades, <clears throat> but it's still nice to have, or to know if, you know, if I lose my main blade or whatever, I still have a relatively you know sharp blade to potentially use if I need to and what's maybe nice about this blade too is if uh, you know if I'm out fishing and you know I'm on a boat potentially and I caught a big sea fish and whoa, you know I like need to cut the line it's like you know the sharks are swarming and I like want to pull this blade out real quick and like psh, cut the line I don't know if that would ever happen but the point is it's a smaller blade it'd be a lot more dangerous to use a bigger blade in that situation if I was trying to do something while, you know, in turmoil or moving around, but anyways, there's a small blade. Get out the big, large main blade. Stain this again, sort of the same uh, blade design. It's where it gets fatter down here at the belly. It's the widest part, it's kind of cool. Like I said, I haven't really used this blade that much just to save it, and this is, I think, two and three eighths, two and three eighths. So again, you know, nice size, pretty much EDC folder or EDC pocket knife expect you know this size blade to be all right moving on fish scaler and hook disforger with a few with a few measuring uh, units on it much sure. that's about what four inches on that side I don't know if you able to pick it up on the on the stainless four inches on that one and seven on that if you want to measure how much of a man you were I guess I haven't really found too many other uses if I'm not fishing with this I can see how it would work you know as a as a as a scaler you know I, you know you can imagine that and a hook to scourger up here but I have really never found another use for this since I haven't used this fishing I can imagine if you had something pithy you know potentially you want to make a bush pipe and there's shumac around, something, a pithy center. You could use this, you know, to poke out, poke something out because you have a little bit of reach to it. I don't know if you have some ideas and you're watching this, potentially what this use, this tool could be used for besides um, scaling fish or disgorging hooks. Let me know. One of my favorite tools on here now are these small pliers. And, hold on, Stoney, let me grab a little piece of, let me grab a pointer. These are the main pliers, but right here is our wire cutters in here. It's really small. I have to open them up to their full sort of capacity. And right here where I'm sort of playing around in that valley. Wire cutters, wire crimpers right here. Under here, wire crimpers and just pliers, all around pliers. Nice small little pliers help you pick up a fish. They're nice. They have some grip. You know, trying to grab, grab a fish, they work, it hurts. Uh, good job, and also, potentially if you wanted to pull something hot off the, off the fire, 
you know, a, say you're cooking with a foil, foil pouch, or if you have a small pot, you want to drag off of it. Not really heavy duty like you would a larger multi-tool. And I want to say this is, I'm going to categorize this in the, in the, as a small multi-tool, just of what you can and can't do with it. Something to keep in mind as well. Nice little pliers. And you can also um, use this like a tweezer, as there are tweezers on here, which I'll get to. But potentially, if you have splinters, if you have splinters or if you have some irritant from a plant or anything like that, you can use these because they are small. You can do really small movements with them, potentially pull out irritants from the skin. That's the pliers. Moving on. This is sort of like the party section of this multi-tool, which I've used a lot, these next two tools I'm going to show. This is the bottle opener. And I'm not really sure what else you use the bottle for besides, you know, if you're carrying, if it's soda or, or beer. But this is the bottle opener, and here on the tip is a flathead, a flathead screwdriver. Do a little bit of prying with this tool in general. It's got some thickness to it. But again, it's a small multi-tool, definitely not too much, not too much. And the little wire strippers down here, that little notch. And I'm under the philosophy of I really like to have fun when I'm out in the woods. And I've definitely hiked, hiked miles and miles into the backcountry and camped with alcohol. That's weighing down my pack. All because it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna make the trip a little bit better. Nothing like setting up camp, a nice view, looking at the sunset, having you know, maybe a 22 ouncer or a whatever six pack. It's all about having fun in the woods and really enjoying yourself, and not about survival, carrying the smallest amount of weight to do everything you want to in the woods. It's if you're in that survival situation and you need to do that, you know, you can, you have the skills. But when I'm going out, I want to have fun. I want to take things that are make things more comfortable for me. The next tool in the sort of the party section of this is the can opener, which I have used a lot. Backcountry as well, taking cans of, you know, free fried beans, chili, fruit, salsa, all that good stuff. Really well. This is a, a different design as opposed to the Wanger on their multi tools. I've used this, I've liked it, you know, their preference, they're both their work. And there's a smaller flathead on here too for, for smaller screws on the can opener. That's it for this one. I think that's it on this side. I'm moving to the back, sort of keeping in line with that party theme I'm talking about out in the forest. It's a corkscrew for wine. And again, I've definitely carried wine in my pack, weighing it down. And I'm okay with that, carrying it to have, to have a gl couple glasses of wine when I make camp for the night. I think that weight is more than worth it to me. And that's why I've used this tool a lot because I sort of use it a lot it's for food and around camp in that way, not for fishing. But I can attest to it really, everything works and it's quality. And uh, you know, I've had this for years and I've used it and I really like it. Corkscrew. And here's a really cool tool. One of the, I think, one of the nicest tools on here, in my opinion, is a sharpened reamer or awl, if you will. Let me show you why this is nice. I'm gonna grab, get a little piece of wood. What's nice about this tool, there's a lot of different uses. I can think about potentially, you see this little eyelet for putting in thread or cordage if you want, if you need to prepare jacket, shirt, backpack, anything like that. It can be used to punch through fabric, punch through fabric, threads pulling out, and you, you know, you can use this to sew. Also, Estonia, I don't know if you were to get the bevels on, the sharpness of, it's kind of sharpened in a specific way. There's almost this lip right here. It's almost like this hollow, if you will, like a hollow grind coming on this side. Hoping that's picking it up. And on the back side here is just a regular sort of straight bevel to really give this strength if you're gonna use it to carve. Because this sort of replaces the tip of your knife if you wanna whittle or dig something out, which is what I would grab this piece of wood for. Your tip of your knife can you can break it. And the last thing you want to do is try to do a task and tip to break your knife. It's usually the weakest point of a knife if you're not careful with it. But this tool, because it is sharpened, I can sort of I can dig into this. I can use this anywhere to create create a chamber for a bush pipe, 
put a put like a lanyard hole through things. I'm going really slow with this. I'm not. I'm trying to make it visible nice for the camera. Um, so I'm not getting like all my weight and pressure like I normally would to get through this, but you can get sort of get the idea of, of why this would be nice. Potentially, if you wanted to make a little um, doing a bow drill to get it started for the spindle, you know this would be pretty easy. You don't have to worry about getting out your knife. All around great tool. I really like this. Really like this. I haven't used it that much, but I know if I do want to use it, it's going to be a really awesome tool for the job. And there's two more left, last but not least, on these Victorinox plastic toothpick. I always forget about these, but these are really cool, important tools. Little plastic toothpick. I, I don't use it. To, I haven't used it to clean my teeth. I do forget about it, but it's a little little plastic piece of plastic that you can use to clean your teeth. I don't know. Maybe get out some gunk if you get some uh, some dirt in between all these tools. You use it for that on the fly. Anything anything you can think of. And the last tool, if I if I remember them all. Is a set of these, of the set of the tweezers. And again, this these are really nice if you if you get irritants in your in your skin. Uh, I know specifically I've used this when I was collecting some um, some stinging nettle, specifically the the Urtica is this genus and Dioica, where I was in Northern California. I was collecting nettle to make some cordage, practice all that good stuff. And it's stinging nettle. There's irritant hairs all over the all over the stalk. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to like make you know ruin your week. But it can be irritant, and you know, I like plants. I like touching plants. It's a really good way to figure out what plants are. I've definitely touched cacti that I shouldn't have. That I've used these to get out of as well. Cool tweezers. So in all, I really like this tool. Like I said, I don't know. I can't speak on it honestly from a perspective of how well it's going to work for fishing. But you've seen the tools it has. If you think it could work for you to hang on your vest. Potentially there's a little lanyard ring for here. It could potentially be a nice tool for you. A nice tool for your kit. Mrs. Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles. I forgot to mention something in the video since I referenced taking food and all that stuff into the forest and the backcountry, specifically what I said. I just want to reiterate, if you're taking anything or anything you take into the forest, the park, any for trail, you take everything out with you. I'll make that important point. It's Crick signing out again. Later, turtles.